All right. Chicago Bears fan show. It's the last one of this week. I am getting excited about the game against the Seahawks coming up. Most people don't get excited about the Seahawks. I don't even know if their own fans get that. So, well, they do. In that stadium, it gets loud. But most teams don't get excited to see the Seahawks. They don't draw a big ticket. But this is an important matchup for the Bears. And the Seahawks are a tough team to play. So, what I want to look at is the Bears' run game, specifically going against the uh, Seahawks. And the Seahawks, um, they have a reasonably strong defense uh, overall. We talked about that in the last video. But one area they're susceptible actually is the run. They've given up 4.6 yards per carry on average this year, which is not good. Not good at all. Uh, not good any year, not good this year. It doesn't rank well. It's not pretty. So when teams run the ball on them, they can, they can have some success. Unfortunately, we've got Forte out. Uh, with Forte out, he's our most dynamic runner, but I still think Michael Bush can have a good game. He, he showed up quite well, did a good job last week against the Vikings, and I think he can have some success here. What's also going to be critical, of course, is the offensive line play. And as you know, uh, we lost two players in the offensive line last week. Lance Lewis, who went out with that season ending, uh, ACL tear, that hurts, right guard position. And the left guard, Chris Spencer, went out uh, with what is right now being called a minor uh, tear of some cartilage in his MCL. Uh, I, I doubt he's going to play this week. I'd be surprised if he does. So we're looking at Edwin Williams again at left guard, Gabe Camrimi at right guard, along with the complement of Jamarcus Webb at left tackle, Garza at center, and uh, recently installed Jonathan Scott at right tackle, who played quite well last week. These guys are going to have to come together as a unit uh, and punish defensive line. Now, the thing is, they are, I think, still a very big and powerful offensive line. I think we can have some success against them. Uh, I think we can do well. I think we've got a run game that is built for power with those guys plus Michael Bush running the ball. And we're going to try and run it straight down their throats. We'll see how, how it works. Uh, but I think they can move the ball well. I think we can have some success. Grind out some first downs, have uh, a good amount of possession on our side, and do well. And I think it's going to be a big part of the game, take pressure off the pass game, and uh, I'm looking forward to a very successful running game for the Bears this week. I think it's one of our keys to victory, and I think we will win the game this week in large part because uh, because of it. So uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully another win this week, hopefully staying on top of the NFC North, and uh, I'm excited. Uh, you know. It's a good time to be a Bears fan. We're back on top of the NFC North, sole possession of it, after the Packers lost last week. God, it's good when the Bears win the Packers lose. Ugh, so good. Enjoy the game coming up this week. Subscribe to see future videos of mine. It's fun to subscribe. And of course, as always, Bear Down.